Most of y'all probably know, but Young Philly, the YouTuber from the UK, also transitioned to music. He's gotten into some hot water, some some allegations, been arrested in Australia for some SA stuff. We're going to get into some information Young about Philly it. Cancelled. Popular musician and YouTuber from the UK, known mm. as Young Philly, has been extradited from Queensland to WA, accused of serious sexual allegations following an incident in Perth. That's right, Lara, and it's serious. He's facing four counts of penetration without consent, three counts of assault occasioning bodily harm, and one count of impeding a person's normal breathing or circulation. Detectives Whoa. say the Wait, twins... Wait, Yeah, strangling, basically. So when they say four counts, three counts, does that mean he did it three, four times, that particular thing? I think so. Or, or, or was it... Three or four different people, or no? I, I think it's one person. I think they mean like incidences. Oh, like it's, or could it be both? Could it, it mean could incidents be or it could be both. different people? It could basically. be both. This ain't our Philly. No, hell no. This ain't our. This ain't Philly. This is young Philly with it's an not F. Philly on Mars. Yeah, this is Philly with an F. So Nine-year-old man sick. Correct. Actually, a... I don't think this guy's a Jedi. No, I don't think he's just here like. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> This man's not Darth Sidious. Uh, I the think she couldn't breathe because he was choking her. Yeah, choking is crazy. A woman in her 20s in his Perth hotel room after he performed an event in Hillary's on Saturday, September times. 28. So, right. so it could be different people Bill conditions are pretty strict. He's going to be stuck over there till December. Uh, he's not allowed to leave Western Australia until he's stood trial. Apparently, the police officers have strong CCTV evidence this for why they part, justified bro. themselves making the extradition and the arrest, as well as photos and videos of the young girl's injuries uh, to her body and to her neck. So, start off at the beginning. These are allegations. They haven't been proven true. Yeah. If you don't know who Young Philly is, Young Philly is a very popular content creator and a semi-popular right, right, right. music artist. Uh, he's currently on tour right now, so he's performing. He does his songs in different places. You might know him from Beta Squad, the work he's done with Chunks. He's not a part of Beta Squad. He's affiliated yeah. with Chunks, Beta Squad, and Sidemen and all of them. And he's been on BBC. He's done a whole bunch of television shows. Let me just say, his life's pretty much over. Mm -hmm. But I can tell you, all of his TV contracts, all the commercials, all the brand deals, which he makes most of his money, oh, that's dropped. it's over. Especially in a yeah. place like the UK where they yeah. don't play with allegations. Yeah. yeah the, even the, the, even unfortunate, if, the unfortunate part, even if it comes out where it's not true. This is innocent and it's not true. It's, it, it's it, done. They'll forever view him as a brand risk. Mm -hmm. Now, the, the issue is there's been... Um, Two different people that, that have come out about the situation, um, about it being two separate people. Uh, one person is a SA worker who um, they're saying she... Uh, uh, SW? SW, yeah. SW worker. SW yeah. worker who was like, oh yeah, she was down for everything and then lied about it. And th there's another girl who, who they're saying it's possibly her. Um, where she was like, she's called her friends and her friend went on live and talked about the incident. It's a lot of information coming on, coming out about yeah. it. Granted, this video that we watched and dropped 12 days ago. Yeah. Uh, we was waiting for more information to really do it, but I haven't seen a lot of just groundbreaking new information. So we still watching this one anyway, but yeah, it's like that for someone like him who is so mainstream and relying on that to make 90% of his money. That's just pretty much done. Young Philly has a long history of being weird around women, apparently. So we're going to examine some of that, take a look part. at it towards the end. Uh, I the personally part. know quite a lot of creators who've either worked with him, work with him consistently, or know a lot about him through being in the UK scene. And uh, most of them, uh, all of them have negative things to say about him. Um, That's crazy. Yeah. What I, what I know is that from all the people I know who have interacted with him, uh, they all say a lot of the same little things. He's very aggressive with ladies. Uh, and they all say he's incredibly arrogant and very, like, pompous when the cameras are off. And he's just very mean towards people. Gotcha. And these are people I respect very well. These are people who work with him consistently. Insane? So a lot of the people... When you hear that, right? Mm -hmm. I hear that. And literally, there was a um, podcast episode, mm -hmm. the Chunks and Philly podcast, and they had Harry Panera mm -hmm. on there. And Harry was literally saying how the first time he met Philly in the club, before he before Harry got on, he's like, "Oh, Philly, what up?" Da, da, da. And he just kind of brushed them off. So, but obviously they cool now, and like Philly has some reason for it, whatever, whatever yeah. the reason for it is. But when you hear stuff like this, that he's arrogant, apparently off camera and all that, 
it kind of makes sense when you hear yeah the I think other thing. I think I think what it because there's so much information out there and us not knowing or actually being a part of it mm-hmm. you have to be careful from how you dissect the information because like mm-hmm. you said um because even listening to what Philly said he was like you know you know because you're you you gotten a name for yourself. Yeah. You oh, you to, was using the call. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I have to be closed off from people. I can't be. Yeah. I can't be too readily available. And so when you, you got to hear both parts of it, it's just, man, the situation's sad. But when everybody, not everyone, but a large majority, well, a lot of people, people feel, start, yeah. It, it, one side is like, why didn't you say something beforehand? Yeah. And two, why are we now just like, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like it's sad, bro. And it could just be a thing of, it could just be a matter of they've never seen nothing egregious. Yeah. They just probably saw, because you see signs in people. Yeah. Like, you may see, oh, they, they kind of act like this, but it's nothing like crazy. Yeah. It's not yeah. enough to be like, oh, this person, is this. it's just like, ah, I wouldn't really hang with you Yeah, as a friend or whatever. But, yeah. you know. People around you are all saying, I'm not surprised. Yes. They're like, they're that like, is the, yeah. I'm that's surprised, the, that's but I'm not surprised. Yeah. Surprised. You know? If they would have like, said this about chunks, it's not oh then. shit. It's been like oh yeah, mm. him him yeah. young Philly yeah. doing the silly with his willy, moving like young Diddy. It's not bad. That's crazy. It's crazy. <laughs> I'll take that. Yo, that's um, the one that was most telling to me was that four months ago there was a post talking about how he is on fa- with fans on tour, and in the post a lot of people were oh. leaving comments and I didn't care for most of them but there was one of them that was like interesting I mean some of these are just arrogance like he goes here and like someone says yes he tried to make me and my friends guess how much money he makes yearly and when we said we had boyfriends he called us dead things anyways <laughs> so it was one of them ones where... that's crazy bro. <laughs> but here's the one that really stood out to me the way he was acting in Australia was outrageous. And then someone else replies, what happened? And then the oh original poster God. says, he bit my homegirl outside the club. Oh, my God. Now, mind you, this is four or five months ago before any of this kind of stuff surfaced. And why is you biting folks? <laughs> that is crazy. <laughs> what situation could you have bit somebody? <laughs> <laughs> Nah, bro. <laughs> Ladies, be safe, bro. Niggas, no's no, bro. No, it's for sure, no is no, bro. Over the Jeez. years, you know, there's talk of him being involved with an underage person. There's a lot of little things what? like that. Um, and overall, the vibe that he gives off, as well as what people say about him, is he's a bit of a. Um, I don't know if sex pest is the right term, but the dude is. Uh, a he's sex a- pest. A uh, sex. You know what I mean? Yeah. Somebody just be on Where'd it all the that? time. Where'd you get that from? I don't know. I've heard that a few times. But that's time. good. Adam was an only child. Listen to the question, babe, yeah? So there's no <laughs> other ch- brothers or sisters. Your hair smells nice, sir. Well, well, Thank you. Was well, it that weird to sniff someone's hair during yes, the interview? It, yes, it is. But you know, it's just <laughs> like, the, you know, the Diddy thing? That, like, there's a lot of things that we look back on. With Diddy. That with Diddy, it was like, and Very now that true. we know everything that we know, we <laughs> look back on like, ah. Now. Ooh. But you know, when this happened, we probably would say like, "That's a bit odd, isn't it? That's a bit off, right?" But when we I know- think the Diddy situation is actually making his situation worse. worse, yeah, because Diddy has been doing these things behind the scenes and actually in the spotlight like, yeah. for a very long. So when we see the old Diddy clips, we like this nigga been showing us the whole time because he was, yeah. he quite literally was. So when you have somebody else get caught up in something and they got similar kind of crazy clips. It's like, what have you been doing yeah. behind the scenes? Yeah, it did. He made it worse. We know it's like the uh, leaks. I mean, part of his did he humorous stick was being like a horny dog. That was that was part of his person. That, that, it was. I understand. For some people, think that's funny. I always thought it was a bit cringe. That, kind but, of that, 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 that was his bit. Him and the other guy, the, the Panero what? dude, they would just often be really horny, like sexually aggressive with mm-hmm. ladies. And for them, that was what was funny for the fans. But the reality was, it was always a bit awkward if you're a well-adjusted person. Mm, look at as well. What's that? Oof. Your one jiggles as well. Oof. Emily? Come a bit closer to me, Emily. I don't stink. Um, and your name is? Gracie. Emily and Gracie, ladies and gentlemen. Got great skin, by the way. A tortoise. Reflection. Look, we're holding hands now, see? Now that I've, I've won some riddle, she's saying, ooh, you're a strong, independent man. All of them. Okay, what? and you're, ooh, yeah? White gang's tick as well, look after you. Oh, you're amazing. 
Third part. Oh come my here, come here, come here. Ooh, Great part of for your heads. I mean, like, it, it's part of his brand. It wasn't nothing. I just feel like, I feel like it's just flirty. It's like, yeah, it's just, it's because, that is, because of his brand at the time and that type of content, I think it was just him trying to be charismatic, yeah. but. And trying a little harder than probably the normal person would yeah. in that situation. Yeah. And I so think, it's, it, and with it being, a, it's, it's just yeah. the mix. It's the mix, it's the mix. Bro. You can't, you wouldn't be able to tell he'd be a, a, Bad human being off of that. Yeah, yeah. bit of a bit of a bit of a horn dog. I see what you're saying. Yeah. Again, in a vacuum, I don't think this thing is necessarily a smoke gun. It is just a, a bit weird behavior, in my opinion. It is. Uh, and to be fair, now this makes a lot of sense to me because I've seen like podcast clips of him talking about how he talks to women really badly. <laughs> and like for clarification, I don't like I really I didn't take anything to heart. I don't want anyone to be like, oh my god, what a horrible guy. So he, we're like exchanging DMs back and forth. I was. 20 yeah at this point yeah i was 20 um and then he like finds my youtube videos and he's like sending me pictures of myself in my videos like telling me he didn't like what i was wearing or like he didn't how i lo like how i looked in that video and then like i just i can't remember what i responded <laughs> Oh, yeah, I, yeah, I said that. And I was like, yeah, that's not a crime. I never, <laughs> I couldn't do it. Isn't it? Yeah, I couldn't do it. I've been doing this. Not a crime. Not a crime. Not a crime, but. God. Like, it's different if y'all are cool and you're critiquing her to help her with her content. Hey, your lighting's off. Hey, wear something bright. Yeah, da, yeah. Da, da. But if it's just random. I don't like what you're wearing and that. That's weird. Because I'm trying, as a person trying to get at you. Yeah. I don't like what you're wearing and now. That's, that's kind of, yeah. You would, you did, even if you don't, you're not supposed to tell somebody that you like that. Yeah. Why would you tell them that? Yeah. That's crazy. Unless they asking like, oh, how are these jeans compared to the yeah. other jeans? That's different. But and then geez. a pull from random videos is, is insane. That's, a, that's <laughs> insane. weird. Bro. Damn. Okay, hold on. Let's keep listening. <laughs> you're the same basket as butt, like. I'm that girl, gee. To a girl you're, like, chatting? Girl, you're... <laughs> That's so weird. That's what the... weirdo. What I responded, but I, like, tried to just be like, oh, haha. -ha. And then he sent me, like, the most brutal message, being like, look, you seem like a lovely girl, but, like, honestly, I just could not be any less interested in you. That's... So I'm not going to let you waste your time on this. And I was like, oh, my God. I bet you felt so God, humble. I never wanted to show <laughs> my face crazy. ever again. I was with Lewis in the car, and I was like, what on earth? And I was like, why respond to me that? Like, why keep the conversation going with me then? Like, if you were just going to say that. Okay, so basically he's acting Damn. like every people Damn. commenting on posts. That you're like, well, why don't you just shut the fuck up then? He, he's acting like some people that are watching their videos and then commenting. But when I told you this guy is very entitled and arrogant, and that's what people around him say, and this is what these people in the clips are saying, this is just a reflection of what happened. Right. Everything that I've been told before, I see videos of how he is behind. Like, Let's just say I had a girlfriend, mm. hypothetically, yeah? And I know one of her biggest insecurities was her weight, yeah? Mm. And she showed me a red dress and she showed me a blue dress, yeah? I'm not saying this is good how I am. I need to work on it. She showed me a red dress and a blue dress. And I knew in the blue dress she looked a bit fat, but she really liked the red dress more. I would actually say to her, Baby, look a bit fat in that blue dress. Right. Because do you know what? Huh? Do you know why I would, huh? what, well, my train of thought? I do believe huh? it's wrong though. But the only reason I'd say that is because I don't want her to now wear this one because she didn't hear her insecurity in that one. Do you get what I'm saying? Or maybe, maybe I just need to work on. What? You're, you're, what? you're, doing, what? What? you're, you're it, doing way it, too much. Blood was not cooking. What? Uh, Which one do I look better in? The so instead one. of just saying the, the red, red one, one, I'm going to say, you look fat in that blue one. I'm going to make sure you know. What? And that, but that also, that's like, po that's poking at that insecurity, bro. If you have a partner, bro, you're supposed to build up your partner, bro. You're supposed to, like, the one thing I, the one thing I have learned in past relationships, you have to build your partner. Yeah. Like, your job, if we dating, I'm your biggest fan. Yeah, and I, it, there's other ways of of, of helping helping somebody. Yeah. Like, like hey, we maybe one way is like, hey, what you think about us like eating a little better together yeah. or some shit? Yo, oh, you can't just ah, oh, you look fat. Yeah, man. Look. When you could have just said, nah, the red one though, the blue one is nice. 
But the red one, though, the red, that's the one. Or even, and even there's a better way to say it. I think the red one compliments you better. Even right there. That's, that's, I don't think the, I don't think the blue one is as flattering. The yeah. red one compliments you better. Yeah. There's a way to deliver that message that's nowhere near trying to make her hear this. Yeah, yeah, bro. Like, it's just, it's, I don't know. Maybe I'm different, bro. But like, I, I feel like in regards to being there for a partner, you don't belittle and attack their insecurities. Not, like even even if you're you're attempting to you're not to supposed to do them. it even in an argument even like, granted, in an argument granted no. in an argument if you get attacked sometimes anger gets the best of people we human anger gets the best of people every day yeah but you if you're not even supposed to do it in an argument what makes you think you're supposed to do it yeah in a bro regular... and, it, and then even even then in understanding anger gets the best of people hell when me and you fight nigga like, I ain't never trying to hurt you. No, my my uh, nigga, this is my point. Yeah, you just trying to prove your point. Yeah, so when you're trying to hurt someone, y'all niggas dickheads. <laughs> when it's just that's just not how you do it, bro. That's yeah, not how you approach that's it. That's crazy. Too much. <laughs> but, to show and the that fact that he you. knows what he's doing. Yeah, and he's like, like in his head, he's like, I'm gonna say the blue one makes you look fat, so you know you look. That's crazy. Uh, yeah, that's just. The truth hurts, but the, that's crazy. But bro. that's not that's, that's not, not the truth. Yeah, that, the truth is, hey, hey, babe, that blue one is not as flattering. I think the red one it compliments you better. That's a better look. I like the red one better. Yeah, bro, that's simple, bro. And it, and you wasn't even lying because the red one looked better anyway. Exactly. What the doing way too much. But does any of this mean he did that? I just there's no, a bit it doesn't of mean anything. A, a social retardation when I see this guy oh, and just the way he behaves. <laughs> it's just like, what's wrong with you? It's just sometimes I see people, I'm like, are you maladjusted? And then it makes sense to me why you would choke somebody out and then beat them after a show, even though you got all the money, you have access to all women who would do it with you consensually. It makes sense to me why you would force yourself on somebody because you're just like a socially weird person. It's like, you are entitled and arrogant. It's, it's a like, power. It it's a power. And, we, and also, guys, I ain't trying to defend this. Nigga. We also got to remember there's a side of it that's also, well, I don't, I don't think, this, I was about to say there's a side of it for the clip. But I don't think that's for the clip. What you mean? <laughs> that people say things that they don't mean just for the clip, for the moment. Are just, you talking, which which moment are you? Like, him him saying him saying uh, you're fat. And oh, no, that's, that's yeah, just, I feel that's like that's him. Stupid, I feel like that's, that's him. him. Because that's I'm him. responding to how how he took it and was going on it. I was like, oh, well, no. you also got to remember there's an other side to it. Sometimes oh, we no. say stuff that's just for the moment. That wasn't for the moment. That was that's that him. was yeah, that's, that's him. him. And then obviously, the way he, the alleged way he's talking to people and acting with people outside of clubs and events is, yeah. There's a power thing there. Yeah. There's, a, the, the, yeah. there's definitely a way where he wants to have power yeah. everywhere. Yeah. I need to tell you your his insecurities. Success uh, is making him believe he <laughs> yeah, can do certain asked, things. Which one is better? Well, answer the question. That one is better. You know what I mean? Not which one is better. You're ugly and fat in that one. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> That's insane. That really Thank does, you. bro. There's just something off about it. <laughs> to, to me, this is one of those situations where, obviously, this is going to be something that's going to be litigated in court. But as far as career goes, it's, it's done for. I think. And, 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 and there's no situation I've ever been in with a girl where I was just leaving bruises all over her body and all over her neck. Mm. That's not normal, even in a consensual not, situation. Some of you yeah. just met. For you to be out there, either you're one of the biggest dumb fucks I've ever you met in my life. The only hickey, consensual, like the only consensual ways for you to leave a mark is a hickey. Yeah. Uh, maybe an ass slap because sometimes, <laughs> sometimes you Damn, do it. Yeah, yeah. No, sometimes you just do it and it could they, somebody could bruise easily. Yeah. Uh, uh, people that's in the BDSM with the little whips and stuff. Yeah. That's the other than that. There should be none of this. Yeah. There should be no. Yeah. There should be nothing on your arms or your face. Yeah. There should be none. Of, there should be nothing, none of that. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ. And you just leave random marks on women you barely know, okay? Which is a crazy proposition, even in a consensual context. Mm -hmm. Or you just really just doing evil shit behind closed doors. But to me, it's one of them ones where it's like, if you're gonna be fucking fans on tour, you're gonna be doing this stuff. Man, make sure everything is right. Because all you people are just out here just taking chances in front of cameras. Mm -hmm. Odds are... You know what's crazy? There's no reason. Now, all he's still alleged he ain't been on trial and all that. But there's no reason to be... There's women 
that are just like, ah, oh, Philly. Uh, what reason? Yeah, they're throwing it. Are you out place. here, bro? Like, and I, and that's why we say alleged. Because you got you got women that's throwing yourself, throwing themselves at your face, bro. That's the part I would never. Why never. are you getting caught up in abuse allegations? If there's always women that's gonna throw themselves, whether it's from YouTube, music, yeah, whatever, yeah, they're literally gonna hear it, nigga. And all you have to do is protect yourself, whether it be NDA or whatever other forms of protection you could possibly yeah. to where they can't say. agreement? Yeah. Hey, do you hey, mind if you, we yeah. have sex? Yeah. I agree. Are you sober? <laughs> Outside of that, <laughs> there's no reason for them to be coming back. Young Philly did the problem. Yeah, bro. And you can't, he, there's no, you can't, he can't be like, I doubt it's just uh, busted women throwing themselves. It's probably busted women throwing themselves, but it's probably... It's, I'm pretty sure it's other women too that, that he would like. So what the fuck are we doing? I think, and also is the is that one piece of it that that always looms is this situation the truth? So it's yeah. it's so many parts of it, and if it comes out, it is the truth. You look at it like, come on, bro, what the fuck? What the fuck are you doing? Yeah, you are literally working with the biggest brands in the world, my the man. biggest, the biggest brands groups, that won't even look at this. Creators, the biggest everything brands. Working with Royal Brands, Heinz, got all kind of shows. What are you doing? Yeah. You just thinking with your tip, bro. Gab, appreciate the this stuff. Up. And everybody I know who heard about this said he probably did it. So that's Damn. crazy. Yeah. When okay. your friends are not coming to your defense, when nobody around you is silence, ra silence radio. The people you all came up with, some of them even whoa, going. Whoa, exotic. Whoa. What exotic? Sticks and stones may break her bones, but chains and whips excite her. Exotic. Go to sleep. I may be bad, but I'm perfectly good at. I feel like I feel like also also I feel like a lot of the reason his friends aren't coming to his defense. Open case, bro. Yeah, open case. Open Damn. case. You can't. You can't. There's too many variables where like you can't really say shit. Yeah. On situations. One side, you gotta understand that one side. This was your friend. Yeah. Who you probably never seen do no heinous shit. Yeah. <laughs> you know, this is your friend. And on the other side, he might have done some heinous shit for real. So you have to stay right here until the truth is revealed. Because if it's false, that's your friend. If, if it's, it's true, true, it's no longer your friend. Yeah, bro. You can't just... And you have to you speak on saying? the situations as they happen. Yeah, you can't just go making brash decisions on somebody that you're actually close with. Yeah. It's not like... Fucking, if I meet somebody tomorrow and they go do some handy shit, I'll fuck that nigga, bro. Yeah, fuck that nigga. There's somebody you know for yeah. years. Behind closed doors to say, yo, listen, stay away from this one. He might have really done it. That just don't speak well about you. No. It doesn't speak well about your relationships with people. And it doesn't speak well about how you're perceived by all the people around you. So, that's where I stand with this. If you gotta go on tour and sleep with uh, these girls, don't. <laughs> Fucking groupies doesn't have to be a horrible thing. It's just no, it's not. Bro, it can be easy, it, it, bro. Just because she a groupie, you know, if it come to a point where she's in bed, but she says no, then you just gotta let it go. That's a there's good. gonna be another groupie at the next show. That's that's a good bar. That's yo. Did you hear yourself, bro? No, he's at the level of there's, just there's gonna, gonna be, be a groupie bro. at the next event. <laughs> Like, me finding out this dude's a sex pest, liking 15-year-old girls' pictures and stuff like that. It's That's just crazy. One of them man. situations where I'm like, why? Oh, There's yeah. so many people you got access to. Did but it's know? the entitlement. It's the same entitlement that Did makes him know? say all that foul shit to people. It's the same entitlement that makes him acting crazy to people. It's the same entitlement that makes him think he can be a famous person and just liking 15-year-old tweets. Well, somebody, somebody said that's a bad take. You find out your best friend was doing stuff like this, it's over. I ain't saying it ain't over. Yeah, I'm that's just not saying. A bad take. Yeah, that's the, you're, I'm but, just saying I need the truth. Like, yeah, bro, that to say it's a bad take for you to find out and uh, facts on a statement. Yeah. that in itself is a so bad that, take. You got to imagine your best friend who you've never done, you've never seen do some crazy shit, or you never thought could do some. You find out your best friend's a serial killer. You like, wait, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. whoa, whoa. Are you sure Johnny did that? Johnny. My Johnny's dad. a serial killer. Yeah. yeah, they got evidence on him. Oh, oh they got yeah. evidence. Oh, oh. But then on the on the flip side, it's like Johnny did that. Yeah, they don't really know if he did it. 
but like they think he did it. They really don't have no evidence. You like Johnny? Johnny would never do no shit like that. Yeah, bro. So it's like you wait on the evidence. You probably don't talk to Johnny. Yeah, I wouldn't talk to Johnny until yeah, they. Yeah, I'm gonna no, uh, distance yourself from that. Person. I'm not gonna be a, no post about Johnny. Yeah, I'm not gonna bro. be no videos of Johnny. But um, you you distance yourself till you find out what's going on. And then when it's over, let's say Johnny is innocent in the long run, and it's over. It's like I, just, I bro, I had to see. He got to understand. Yeah, I had to bro. see if you was innocent or guilty, yeah, nigga. Bro. And then truth be told, nigga, even after that shit come out, you innocent, bro. I'm st- I still you, it might, still might be a little distance. Yeah, bro. It depends like, on how close. Yeah, because yeah. it's like, it's like, why they said that? <laughs> well, yeah, why, where, where, where you was at? Yeah, bro. Oh, you was you was way in Louisiana, and they say you did some shit in California. Oh, they completely yeah, wrong. Okay, yeah. cool. <laughs> but it's like, oh, you was... Two minutes away from the scene of the crime, it just happened to look like you might have been there. Oh, oh uh, wait, wait, hold and on. And then it's like what? that other side of it is like, nigga. As unfortunate as it is, you never really know people. Yeah, you unless, never really unless know. people lay it all out. Cause truth be told, truth be told, if Aaron was to go on a date or something right now, I wouldn't really know. Like if he leave the house right now. I don't know where the fuck he going. If he didn't tell me where he going, he could be... <laughs> he could be doing anything. He left the house. You know what I'm saying? He could do, he could do anything. Yeah. But I don't believe he would be doing stuff. Yeah. If he leave the house, I think Aaron is either going to get food, going with a family member, or going to do some fucking... Some re- shit he got to take care of. Look, That's I, what I would I, believe. I'll tell you now, if it's a crime they ever said I committed, I didn't do it. Now, if it's something to do with a, a ticket in Louisiana because I was speeding and it wasn't me speeding because SRT Newski was going to <laughs> was going to you know what I'm and they gave me the ticket for it. <laughs> no, we don't share lo- we only time we share locations is if he going like buy some if shit. he going to buy something from Facebook Marketplace and he like it might be sketchy. I'm yeah. gonna share location. Nigga, we are grown men. Yeah, I, mean, I don't have to share my location with him. Yeah, if I want to go see. Uh, 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 a woman, I ain't got to tell him I'm going to have fun. He ain't got to tell me. The news the bus. Nigga, I got to throw that ticket for fucking $1,500. I ain't never paying that bitch. It wasn't me. Only one of us is grown. What the, what the fuck that be? Okay, all right, for sure. Oh, or man. talking to 17 year olds on a regular basis as a 30 year old. Or, you know what I mean? Just doing all this like gross shit where he's just sniffing with... It's the same thing, but this shit catches up with you eventually. Facts, it do. It always... You know, somewhere out there, I guarantee you, a man named LV General is just loving his best life. LV General. Who's LV General? And you may not know the lore. This is probably one of my favorite bits of lore that I know for no fucking reason. But LV General is the guy who Young Philly came up with when they first started, okay. and then Young Philly got rid of him because LV is a little bit crazy, and LV's always been bitter about that. Mm. But oh. now he's seeing Young Philly get the top and then go to prison. <laughs> oh. Yo, yo. <laughs> so that LV general nigga might be terrible. Too. He might be crazier. Yo, yo, I haven't yo. heard that nigga in a long time. Yo, 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 you know yo, what's crazy? Yo. <laughs> you know what's crazy? What? If a nigga that's getting caught up in some allegations like this, who is left a nigga alone? It's crazy. Left a nigga alone because he's crazy. <laughs> you gotta be a little. You gotta be <laughs> either, a little either he's a shitty friend. Or that nigga throwing off. Or you off. throwing off. Yeah, bro. <laughs> yo, yo, yo. I haven't heard that shit in a long yeah, ass time. I told you, man. Yo. Australian prison got to be crazy, too. Yeah. Yeah. This guy just going to be out there in cellmates with fucking giant spiders and snakes that look like humans. Oh. Yeah. And uh, in, uh, they, they sound like they hate this nigga. <laughs> I mean, he said he'd been here and stuff since before. Yeah, it's not like he ain't this nigga, bro. You know, in, in Australian prison, you don't got to worry about other men when you drop the soap. Oh, yeah. Imagine if a spider went up your spiders, Oh, right? yeah. About hey. 100%. Scorpions, bro. Oh, 100%. You're going to be shitting cobwebs and everything. Oh, 100%. Yeah, That's yeah. Crazy. Every time you go to sleep, prison starts good night and just... I thought I was supposed to be alone in my cell. You are. Just like a hundred <laughs> eyes glowing in the dark and shit like that. I'm supposed to be alone. I'm I know Australian yeah. people sick of us. 
Yo. I know Australia is sick of us, bro. Yo. You see all these tough niggas just going it's out to the courtyard, like middle prison shifts, right? Just chilling all the inmates. And then there's just a kangaroo just jumping around like, yo, who nigga, who wants these? Yeah, who wants this? <laughs> and you know what? Kangaroo <laughs> gonna fuck you up. Yeah, I see kangaroos yeah, kick people and send them flying. Okay. They sick of us for real. It's just like it's just like us in Texas. Niggas come to Texas and be like, I ain't seen a cowboy hat yet. No shit. Nigga, this is you ain't seen a Texas creator wear a fucking cowboy hat outside of a cowboy themed function yet. Come on, Tim. Come on, nigga. No shit. Crap. I know the Australian stick well, bro. But uh, yeah, uh, all you can do is hope it ain't true. Yeah. But it's also looking like it's probably true. So, uh, Jesus Christ. Hey, Amen. Yeah, waiting on the trial. Yeah.